Okay, so and now how do you save and quit this? So you click on the gear icon here, name your piece. I'm going to call it Octopus Teaching. And I'm going to say, you can write a description here, you can be like, it's awesome. And then you press save. Perfect. And then you can go home. Okay. Now, when you're home, you go to my project. You see a lot of stuff made. Go to Octopus Teaching. And then I can go to edit. And you're back. Okay, so now we know how to make some basic characters, and we know how to add some basic physics to it. Um, let's continue. We can refine the physics, and we can add new types of movement. So let's see what happens when we tested this game last time. Okay, if I move it, he also like turns. First thing I want to do is turn off this turning. I don't want to turn. So I'm going to click on him. I'm going to go into physics, and I'm going to click lock rotation. Let's play. You cannot turn. Okay. Okay. Also notice that if I press up, he falls back down. That's because of the gravity we added last time. Okay. Pause uh, yourself. Go. Turn off rotation. Okay. Next. Um, I don't want him to be able to move up and down. Later, I want to add something to make him jump up and down. Okay? So, I'm going to click on him. I'm going to click on behavior, because we added a control pad behavior, remember? And, and you can change a bunch of things. I'm going to be in directions. I'm going to say left and right only. Okay? And close. Now play. If I press... W or S doesn't work. If I press A and D, it does work. Take a pause and do that. Okay, now let's add the ability to jump. So same as adding the build, the behavior last time. I got a plus sign. I got behaviors. This time I look for jump. Oop, jump. Drag it. Put it on the person. And press play, notice the space has appeared here. That's the default jump key. And if you press space, you can jump. If you press W or S, nothing happens. If you press D or A, you're moving left and right. So take a moment to add the jump. Okay, now we can do all that, but let's say I'm unhappy with the speed of his moving. So, uh, 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 no, it's not, not good enough. So, I'm going to pause, click on him, go to his behaviors. So, I see how jump has appeared, and control pad's still there. So, I can change the speed, make him faster. I can change the height of the jump, make it a little bigger. Press play. So my jump is a bit more, I can tell, and oop, the speed is a lot. Great. Now pause. Now take a moment to play with the jump height and the speed of your guy. Okay, if you want, you can turn the speed back, and that would be great. Um, or not. Whatever you want the speed and the jump height to be. Don't make it unplayable, though. Okay, now the final thing is, when you play the game, to move the octopus, he disappears. Right? Play, move the octopus, whoop, disappears. Let's try and keep it so that he stays within the game. So it's another behavior. This time, it's called the stay in frame behavior. Okay. Done. Let's press play. Now when he falls, oop, oop, what's happening? Oh, he's bouncing. Off the edge. 
Perfect. Let's look at the stay in frame behavior. Got a behavior, stay in frame, got a reaction. But now it says reflect. Okay. Let's try stop. What happens? I press play and move. Oh, he just stops. Okay. Try a different one. Let's stop. I'll go to wrap around. Let's play. Oh, see what's happening? This is a fun one. It's a funny one. So if you wrap around, if you hit one edge of the screen, he comes out of the other edge instead. So it's kind of funny. We pause. We don't like wrap around. It's kind of annoying. So, or you might like it, but for this game, let's turn the wrap around off for now. So to wrap around, let's just go to stop. Stop's the easiest. Okay, press play. Oh, did that work? Behavior, stay in frame, stop, yeah. Bam, it stops. Perfect, so pause, try to stay in frame, play with it a bit. Um, and in fact, that's the end of this lesson, so awesome.